hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome to another week of grocery haul thank you so much for stopping by welcome back to another video so yeah i just came back from work actually i got off work an hour ago and i had to stop by the stores and do my grocery shopping before i come home i'm so tired and i don't know if you can tell from my face i'm super tired and i'm sweaty it's hot today is a little better but guys i went to walmart and winko so i picked up everything that we need for the week yeah um so i'm gonna turn this camera around but before i do that if you're new here welcome thank you so much for stopping by i really appreciate you clicking on this video on this channel i do cleaning i do some cooking i do grocery hauls and uh basically mom life and if you are interested in content like this please consider subscribing and join this family i would love to have you here if you are one of my returning supporters i really appreciate you for coming back thank you so much for coming back okay so um yeah i'm gonna turn the camera around right now and show you what i got so here is everything that i picked up for this week i go grocery shopping on fridays but this is for the week starting on Sunday, which is going to be 7.24 through 7.31. So, this is everything that I picked up. The only two things that I know here is milk and steak. I got those yesterday from Crest, so they are already in the fridge. The steak is in the freezer. This right here, this small portion is from Walmart, and this bigger portion is from Winko. So, I'm going to start from here, but before I do, let me show you what my meal plan is looking like for the week. So here is my grocery list. The, this is what I took to the store with me. And yeah, um, this is starting from the week of 724 through 731st. You can pause this if you want, but yeah. And then I have my grocery list. Oh yeah, I have my meal plan in the back. So, and if you want to have an idea what we are eating this week, this is what it is. And this, you can find this printable at uh, in my shop. I have... Two printable shops I have Etsy and then for the creator.com I will link both of the shops in the description if you when you purchase any of this when you purchase this you will get this bundle and the bundle comes with three different colors I have I have pink and I have gray so so you're gonna get six different color I mean six different um, documents which is three different colors so yeah so it's my list. I didn't put anything in the frozen because I didn't get any frozen today. And I didn't get any household item as well. So we picked up some. Yeah, I'll show you what we picked up later on. And here is my meal plan for the week. Sunday morning, we're going to have bread and fried eggs and tea. In the afternoon, we're going to have pounded yam and a four-year-old with beef stew. Sunday night, we're going to order some pizza. Tuesday, uh, Monday mornings, uh, well, the week mornings, I didn't put anything there. Yeah, we just eat whatever. I don't eat at home. The kids usually eat breakfast in school, and they are still home right now, so they just eat whatever they want to eat. Basically, they eat cereal in the mornings. So, in the afternoons, I did not put anything either because they are home. I take lunch. I take lunch from leftover from dinner to work, and they just eat whatever. So, the basic, the main meal is for dinner during the week. So Tuesday is always our taco night. Wednesday, I'm going to make some jollof rice with goat meat. Thursday is going to be chicken and fries. Friday, we're making fried rice with chicken. Chicken leftover from, I think I have some in the fridge. And yeah. And then Saturday night is going to be steak and potatoes. Well, Saturday morning, I'm going to make some akara, which is bean cake and pop, which is also known as corn porridge. Then in the afternoon or Saturday, I'm, we're going to be having rice and beef stew. So, yeah. So that's what my meal plan is looking like. If you want to to have a glance of what it is, just pause and take a screenshot or something. And if you're interested in this bundle, check it out. Check my shop out and see if you like it and get you one. So when you purchase it, you will get a a document a pdf document sent to your email and you just print as many times as you want you don't have to print on the cardstock i just i, I love cardstocks because this is going to be going on my fridge so i just love to use cardstock because these are harder uh textured papers so now um so let's go to the hall 
and yeah i picked up three bags of takis and my kids love spicy stuff this thing is spicy right here it's very very hot i picked up three bags down here i have uh cinnamon toast crunch i picked two boxes and then we have the frosted flakes two boxes these are the two series they're eating right now my kids are so picky and they're very weird about their choice of food well, if they're eating something at that particular point in time that's all they're going to be eating for a long time then they will switch it up again well so yeah so i picked out this box of chips and like i said they love hot stuff they just now fell in love with these hot chips and yeah they all like it. even the baby that is so picky she likes to eat the funions yeah so i picked up a box of crackers we have one at home so that's why i didn't pick up two usually i buy two boxes so i have I picked up some mangoes and i've been eating this in the car i almost finished it before i go home i was so hungry and then i picked up a case of chocolate chip cookies here i have some apples some fuji apples and then i have a bag of onions here i found some pawpaw and i don't know if it's going to be sweet and we're about to try it and find out if it's sweet and then i picked up some taco seasonings i picked up a can of tomato paste back here is my chicken they did not have the kind that i want but this is the chicken wings and i hope the kids love this so and then the hair is two things of sweet rolls the expiry they always make sure to check the expiry date this is going to expire nine four and I, I really don't feel comfortable with this date bread don't have this kind of dates on them i don't know why they put this is september i don't know i don't i don't think bread has this kind of long expiry dates on them but hopefully it's good <laughs> so i picked up a loaf of white bread for grandma this is what she likes to eat. And then back here is some soda. These are on sale for, I think, 68 cents. So I picked up this off brand Sprite and Coke. <laughs> so, yeah. Here I have some taco shells, taco bell shells. My kids love taco bell stuff for some reason. Yeah. And then here is some grapes and bananas. And this is everything that I picked up at Winko. I'm going to go through one more before I show you my receipt. And here is the popcorn that we just found at Walmart. They are mini bags. They are very, very small. Let me open it up and show you what it looks like. If your kids tend to waste food, this is the perfect size that you should get for them. It's very small. When they, you, when they cook one of these, they finish them. It's super, super mini. And yeah. And back here, I have some apple juice. I have some potatoes for our steak and potatoes now. I usually buy the big potatoes. They didn't have the big ones. But I like the bigger ones. This is all they have. So, yeah. And then I picked up some salt. We're almost out of salt. Back here, I have some cornmeal. Grandma uses this to make pap. Here is a bag of tangerines. And here is my ground beef. I like to get my ground beef from Walmart most of the time. 99% of the time I get them from Walmart. So I have some water, the cases of water that are still outside at the front door. They're just too heavy for me to bring them to the back door to put them here. So I picked up some water as well. So I'm going to show you my receipt real quick. So in at Winko, I spent a total of 100 and... Uh, it was 132 but then i swiped my week card and the week paid for all my fruits and veggies i don't have any vegetables oh yeah potato okay i didn't buy that i bought that from walmart all my fruits week paid for them and the onions week paid for my onions pop up apples banana and grapes as well as the tomato paste so i saved week saved me 11 dollars and 99 cent so yeah I paid $120, I think, at Winko. And then at Walmart, I paid, um, let me see. I forgot to swipe my week card. I don't know if I have any money left in my veggies and fruits and veggies, but I should have swiped it to make sure. But I paid a total of $32.45 at, no, $35.40 at Walmart. And last night when I went to pick up steak and, and milk, I paid uh, I paid sixteen dollars and sixty six cents. So 
my grocery budget for the month is my grocery budget for the month is 225 dollars for the week i mean sorry is 225 dollars yes so i i'm not sure how much i have left for the week but i don't think i need anything else for this week i still have quite a bit of money left at least i have about 40 dollars left so and i think i don't think i need anything else unless we run out of milk and uh fruits that's it so yeah and guess what okay this is probably strange to you i do have a budgeting channel and if you love budgeting if you love um let me turn the camera around so you can see my face but i wanted to show you something before i turn the camera around okay i i started collecting star notes in case you don't know what that is it just means the uh the well, every dollar bill that is printed out here in the United States, they have a serial number. And whenever they are printing, in the process of printing, they made any mistake instead of them to throw that, uh, that money away and create a different serial number, they put a star note in the front of the serial number of the new note. So I've been on the hunt for a star note for a month. I just found one today and I'm super excited. So if you're interested in budgeting videos, like budgeting content, saving money, anything of that so sort, I have a budgeting channel. You can click on that link. I will link it in the description. Just come over there and check me out and see what I'm doing there. You will love it so much. I promise you will love it. So I've been, I'm, I'm starting to collect this. I've been collecting the F box because my first name starts with an F. So I've been collecting these and I think I have about $30 collected so far this month. So I'm collecting the F box and then I'm starting to collect a star note. And this is my first star note. I'm super excited. So yeah. And uh, yeah, after when I finish this recording, I'm going to put my money back in my wallet. And I have, so yeah, if you're interested in budgeting content, come over there and check me out. The channel name is Mauritani Savings. This is what I take to the store every time I go. My gas money, I finished using it. And my eating out, my couponing. And this is also my spending money. And this is for everything else. And I keep my coins in here. I keep my uh, card, my anything like gift cards in here. And my receipts are right here. So just come over there and check me out and yeah, so you can see what I do as per budgeting and saving. So guys, that is going to be, this is going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me, showing you my grocery and everything. Please, if you are interested in my meal plan, planner bundle, check my shops out. I have a lot of other printable items in my shop that you might be interested in. So if you want to save money for Christmas, want to save money for back to school, want to save money for anything, you can use any of those printable documents and just click on the link in the description and it will take you straight to my shops. And then, yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I would love to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.